Welcome friends, in today's guide we will learn, how to install and dual boot, Zorn OS, alongside Windows 10, without lossing any data. So watch the complete guide, without skipping the video, and follow every steps carefully. This things are required to dual boot Zorn OS with Windows 10. Now the our first step is, download the Zorin OS, ISO file. To download Zorin OS, simply open your web browser, and search for the, Zorin OS download. Now click on the first result, which is ZorinOS.com. Now the Zorin OS site is opened. As you can see here, this is Ultimate Edition of Zorin OS, but, this is Paid Edition. This is Zorin Core Edition. This is Free Version of Zorin. This is Zorin Lite Edition, and you can use this edition, for low-end computers. This is Zorin Education OS, this one is also free, you can download any edition. You can use this comparison table, to select the editions for your computer. Here. In my case, I am downloading Education Edition of Zorn OS. You can download which one you like, the downloading process is same, for all editions. Now click on download. Now in sign up form will appeared. Fill the detail for newsletter. Or simply click on, skip and download. Select the version according your system. Here in my case I am downloading 64-bit version. Wait for a few seconds, it will start downloading. Now we are redirected to SourceForge web page, because this file is hosted on it. Wait for a few seconds, the download will start automatically. Now the Zorin OS is now downloading, as you can see here. It is around 4.2 GB in size, it will take some time, so I am fast forwarding this steps, after downloading follow the next steps, now the our next step is, download the Rufus USB tool. To download Rufus USB tool, simply open your web browser, and search for the, Rufus download. Now. Open the first site, which is owned by Rufus.ie. Now scroll down. Now click on, Rufus 3.13. Now the Rufus is downloading, after downloading, follow the next steps. Now the our next step is, write the ISO file to USB drive. For easy purpose, I created this folder on the desktop, and copied the files which we downloaded in earlier steps. Now. Open the Rufus USB tool by double clicking on it. Now, here you will have to select the USB drive. As you can see here, in my case, this is my USB drive. Now verify it, by making sure both, are same here. Now, select disk or ISO image, in boot selection. Now click on select, and navigate to the location, where you copied the Zorin OS, ISO file. Now select the Zorin ISO file. Now click on open. Now select the partition scheme, on the basis of your system partition scheme. Here, in my case I am selecting GPT as my partition scheme. After selecting, don't do any changes in any setting, leave as it is. Now click on start. Now here select, write an ISO image mode recommended. Now click on OK. Now a warning message box will appear, which is saying all the data will be lost. Now click on OK. Now the image writing process is started. It will take some time, so I am fast forwarding these steps to save your time. Now the image writing process is successfully completed. Now close this window, and follow the next steps. Now the our next step is creating free space for the Zorin OS. 
To create free space, simply right click on Start menu. Now click on Disk Management. Now a new window will open. Here we will have to find the partition which has more space available on it. Here in my case, the E drive has more free space, so I am selecting it by clicking on it. Now right click on it. Now click on Shrink Volume. Now a new window will open. Here we will have to enter desired size in MB format. Here in my case I am creating 15 GB free space for the Zorn OS. You can enter your desired size. After entering size, simply click on shrink. Now our 15 GB free space is created, now close this window. Now restart your system. Now our system is restarting. Press escape key continuously, when the system is booting. Now press F10 key to configure BIOS setup. Now navigate to the System Configuration tab. Now find and select the boot options. Now press Enter key. Now find and select Legacy Support. Now press Enter key. Now select Enabled, then press Enter key. Now select Yes, then press Enter key. Now press F10 key to save changes. Now select Yes, then press Enter key. Now the R system is booting, now again press escape key continuously. In some cases, BIOS is asking for the confirmation, so we will have to press the keys, which are shown in the message. As you can see here, in my case the keys are 2098 plus enter key, in your case it may be different. After entering these keys, we are again booted into the startup menu. Now press F9 key to select boot device options. Now find and select, USB drive with UEFI label. After selecting, press enter key. Now the system is booted into Zorin OS bootable USB. Now the Zorin OS installer has appeared. Now from here, you can select your desired language. I am selecting English as default language. To avoid errors, make sure you're connected to the internet so the installer properly downloads the required files. Now click on Install Zorn OS. Now select your desired keyboard layout. Now click on Continue. Now tick this options, to install update automatically during installation. Tick this option, to install third party software for graphics and Wi Fi. Tick this option, if you don't want to participate in the census. Now click on continue. Wait for a few second, installer is loading next screen. Now this is very important step, here we will have to select installation type. Now select, something else. Now click on continue. Now the partition table is loading, it will take some time. Now find and select the free space, which we created in earlier steps. Now select it free space by clicking on it. Now click on plus sign. Now here we are creating three partitions like this. Here we will have to enter the size in MB format. So first we are creating 300 MB boot partition. In uses section, select, ext4 journaling file system. Now select slash boot, as mount point. Now click on OK. Now, wait for a few second, our partition is in process. Now again scroll down, and find and select the remaining free space. Now click on plus sign. Now we are creating swap area partition which is 2 GB in size. Here 2048 MB equals to 2 GB. In use as, section select, swap area. Now click on OK. Now, wait for a few second, our partition is in process. Now again scroll down, and find and select the remaining free space. Now click on plus sign. Now here, we are creating root partition from the remaining free space, we are use whole free space for the root partition. In uses section, select ext4 file system. Now select, slash as mount point. 
Now click on OK. Now again wait for few second, till the partition is created. As you can see here, we are created three partitions for the Zorn OS. Now click on install now. Now in confirmation box is appeared, which is asking for writing changes to disk. Now click on continue. Now wait for few second. Now select your region, you can select it from the map or you can enter it manually by typing it. Here in my case I am selecting India as my location, now click on continue. Now here, we will have to set up user account. Now here, enter your name or anything, and fill all the details. Now set the password for the user account. Now again retype the same password for the confirmation. Tick the option to automatically log in or tick another one for the manually login. Now click on continue. Now the installation is started. It will take some time, so please be patient. I am fast forwarding these steps to save your time. Now the installation is successfully completed. Now click on restart now. Now wait for a few second, our system is restarting. Now as you can see here, this is Grum bootloader. From here you can boot into Zorin OS, or you can boot into Windows 10 also. Here in my case I am selecting Zorin OS, and then press enter key. Now our system is booting, wait for a few second, it will take some time. Now click on the user account. Now enter the password of the user account. Now click on login, or press enter key. Congratulation, we are successfully installed Zorin OS alongside Windows 10. Now let's check we are able to access Windows 10 partitions from the Zorin OS. Voila, we are accessing Windows 10 partitions from the Zorin OS, and the performance is very good. If these guide is helpful for you, then like and share this video, and also subscribe to my YouTube channel.